Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. So in this video, we will store the um, block details in the database. So let's start with the video. In the last previous video, we have already set the user interface for the form of adding a block. And we have checked by clicking on the add block button that the post files has already been set. So here if I pass some data, uh, basically the form data is not yet set, but still we will get some of the data. Okay, so here, first of all, this form has a file. So this should have the ink type multi part slash form data because we have certain files which need to be uploaded and here is a post file so first of all what we will do is inside the post we also have files so firstly we will load see you can see that the array was blank let me go back and reload the page and try to submit the form again so you will notice that the form has certain value the temporary name and everything is now specified here so that means we have successfully passed the input field to the post file so here what we will do is first of all we will check if dollar underscore files that means the image is compulsory so here if the files are present then it's okay Pass for upload. Image is not passed. So here, basically, firstly we will upload using the file uploading class. So in order to upload, I have already uh, uploaded a video for the same. So in order to upload, we will need to have certain things. I'll just copy this things and I'll paste it here. We need a folder where we are going to upload it. So here basically we have the assets folder and inside that we have the upload folder. So inside uploads, what we will do is we'll create block image so here upload is present inside the assets slash upload slash blog image blog image slash and the allowed type for the image is going to be this that is it or jpeg max size and everything i'm not selecting it because i don't have any image like the same so here in in the do upload we have the file name so the file name is file so i'll just specify the name if there is some error in upload we will just directly die showing the error error and if the data is uploaded successfully so we have the data here
the data so we will print underscore all dollar data let us check by reloading the same page again so you can see that the data has been uploaded successfully the file name is given to us the full path is given to us everything is properly displayed here so we require file name and we will store the file name in the database so here basically we will echo the file name first so dollar data of uploaded data sorry upload data of file name this is the file name let us reload the page and you will see that we have successfully got the uploaded image name this name we have to store it in the database and if you notice here it is getting uploaded successfully here now uh, we have one data and this is the file name basically so here we will now what i will do is i will just make the post whatever post values I'm getting I'll do it like this the first day we have to store the URL so I'm just storing it here the second is the normal post values that also we require so block title description <clears throat> now the query dollar this db query and we will just insert the values so for inserting the values you'll just go to we don't require the blog id just be required is the title description and the image rest everything we have already set up for the title we will just pass the block title then we have the block description so for that we have a variable desc and for the image we will just specify the file url so here basically we can do one thing we can store the exact assets slash upload slash uh, blog image so this is what is the database now if the query is successfully executed then we will set a session flash session so we'll go in the inside the session library and here we will click on the flash session we will just copy the set flash data and insert it yes and we will redirect 
the user to blogs blog page and in this admin panel slash at blog page and here you can directly check for the session and here we can also check for the session in this manner here. inside the script the session name is inserted if the session is set then we will just echo alert data successfully let us check if it is working fine or not okay so we have admin slash blog slash and you can see that it was displayed very well test demo and data inserted successfully if you notice here we have already added the data the data has been inserted successfully and it is showing us the exact issue uh, the folder and the path so if i try to just access this yes it is working fine so this is the way we upload a file and we store the data now here let us check If the data is uploaded successfully we have already loaded the file this part uh, we can do it in the model also so if you want to do it in the model you can do it from the model itself the videos we I have already uh, I will just add the video here you can just check it and you can implement in that way also And if the query is not is not inserted, then we can either do one thing. We can here check if dollar underscore session of inserted equals to equals to yes. That means the data is inserted successfully else I can directly not inserted alert not inserted simple as that so I hope this video was helpful and you understood how to store the data in the database in the next video we'll work on the view part thank you for watching guys hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any doubt thank you